Hey boys and girls, welcome to another Rebel Galaxy Outlaw video. Today I wanted to talk about the various buddies you can get in game. More specifically, is there a best? I do want to point out that there will be some minor spoilers here, but to be honest, there are spoilers you probably could have predicted. I'll be going through each buddy in roughly the order in which you would unlock them, and at the end of the video I'll go ahead and tell you who I think, in my opinion, is the best to use. Ultimately, however, they all give you at least one thing. They're a distraction for your enemies. Plain and simple. You're still going to have to do about 90% of the work, but even having at least one enemy not focused on you will greatly help your survivability. Your buddy will help you for 10 minutes and then leave. They go on a cooldown for another 10 minutes before you can call them back. This cooldown is specific to that buddy, so if you swap them out for someone else, that new buddy will be available instantly. Okay, so onto the first buddy you unlock, Richter. Richter's ship has two tracers mounted to it, so he isn't bringing a whole lot of firepower to the table. He also has a launcher of some sort, but I don't know 100% what it is because the model doesn't match any that we, the player, can purchase. However, when we study him in fights, it seems to be a heat-seeking launcher as he only fires it when the enemy is running away and exposing the heat of their thrusters. Honestly, the moment you can swap Richter out, the better, as every other buddy has better ships. You can always find Richter in the Texas system at the Nacogdoches station. Next up is Satchel. Satchel's ship is huge, it's almost as big as the player's ships. He has two Gauss guns and four ion blasters, so he already has a much better loadout than Richter does. However, his best feature is that he has three combat turrets, which means he doesn't have to be facing an enemy to do damage. He gets turrets because his ship is actually kinda slow compared to everyone else. Lastly, he has a torpedo launcher and what I presume to be a heat seeking launcher. It's the same model that is on Richter's ship, and I only ever see it fired when an enemy is running away from him. You can find Satchel in the New Mexico system at Hobbs Station. Your next unlockable buddy is Marla. Marla's ship is odd looking, but in a good way. It seems like she went to a ship recycling yard and picked up various pieces to create what we have here. She has two Gauss guns and two ion blasters. One torpedo launcher, and once again that unknown launcher model. This launcher was a bit hard to pin down, but it seems like it's an image recognition launcher, so she can fire it without needing the heat from enemy thrusters to lock onto. Marla hangs out at Jesse's Den in the Juarez system. Next on the list is Connor. Connor's ship looks awesome. It has that IndyCar look, which tells you it's fast, and it has a nice, bright, colorful paint job. The red makes it go even faster. But I was quite surprised to find that he actually uses two combat lasers and three tracers, which are lower tier weapons. That being said, it's actually not a bad loadout. I found that he doesn't have too much trouble keeping his weapons fixed on a target, so while he does hit less per shot, he keeps his DPS up by not missing as much as other buddies. Now this may be more attributed to the fact that his ship is very fast and nimble, but either way, he does damage. He also has a swarm launcher and one of the unknown launchers, but I believe it's an image recognition launcher as well, as I have seen him fire it at an enemy without needing their thrusters exposed. Connor can be found at Port Belgrade in the Montana system. And now we have Sharky. What a ship this girl has. It's the only ship to have custom artwork on it. However, she only has one Gauss gun and two tracers, so not a whole lot of firepower. In fact, she's barely better than Richter in that regard. And it's a bit disappointing considering how late into the game you'll be once you unlock her. Her launcher seems to be an image recognition launcher. You can find Sharky in the Louisiana system at Lafitte Tech. And last but not least is Ruth. Ruth's ship looks like it fits into a heavy fighter category. Able to take a beating while still dishing out damage and being able to keep up with all but the fastest ships. The ship is equipped with four Trion accelerators and two tracers. Hot damn. That poor power plant of his. He also has a torpedo launcher and a swarm launcher and compared to other buddies he likes to use that swarm launcher quite often. Ruth spends his time at Tallulah in the Louisiana system. Okay, so who's best? Well, for me, it's going to be a tie between Satchel and Ruth. Before I made this video, I primarily used Ruth as he seemed the obvious choice. You get him last, and with his four Trion accelerators, he seems like he would have the most damage. But after watching Satchel, what tips it for me is the turrets. He's able to fire them almost at all times, and if his turrets are as accurate as the turrets you can equip on your own ships, I imagine he's doing quite a bit of damage. He also seems to be the tankiest of the buddies, but in truth they rarely blow up, so I'm not sure that's a trait that should truly be considered. 
Speaking of, you want to see what happens when your buddy explodes? Yeah, nothing too spectacular. A little message saying that they ejected, but give them 10 minutes and they'll be ready to go. So, what do you guys think? Who is the best? Or do you just go for whoever is least annoying? Alright, well, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you made it this far, then let me see your best impression of a pencil in the comments below. My name is Umbra, and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.